Okay, so today what I'd like to take a look at is um, the square root of 181, or blank squared equals 181. And so blank squared, or what's the length of a square that has the area of 181? So the um, technique is to look at one digit at a time. And so um, here, 181, well, you can see it's bigger than 100, so that means it's got to be bigger than 10 squared, uh, but it's less than uh, 400, which is 20 squared. And so we know the first digit has to be a 1. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually approximate this by a square of 10 by 10. Okay, and so there is a square. And it's going to be 10 by 10. Okay, so we know what, what that is, that's 100. And so I'm going to take over here, I'm going to say, well, there's my 181, subtract 100, and see what's left over, 81. So now, it means I need to make this square bigger. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to extend, so I have another square now that's augmenting or, or adding to this one here, this little L. Now. Um, how do I figure out what the length is? Well, let's say it's a blank here and a blank here. So to break it down to things I know, I can chop off this corner. And so now this area up here, well, I can see it is 10 times blank. And down here, this big region here is blank times 10. And then the corner is blank uh, times blank. And so what I've done is I've broken these sections down into things that I now can figure out. And so um, these two are the same. And so I can look over here and say maybe it's 2 times 10 times blank plus blank times blank. And so what I want is this, this sum to be approximately 81. And so, well, if I put a 4 in for the blanks, then I end up with 2 times 10 times 4, 80, plus uh, 4 times 4, 16. That's 96, too high. And so I'll just go a little shy of that and put a 3 in here. And so the calculation becomes 2 times 10 times 3, 60, plus 3 times 3, 9, or 69. Okay, so if I subtract this from my 81, let's see how close I am to reaching um, my objective here. And so 11 becomes 2 and 12. Okay, so I'm 12 off of 181 if I take 13 by 13. And so I can fill all these with 3's. So I'm still a little bit off, but what I can do is now extend again. But this time I know it's not a full 1, it's some fraction of 1. And so here's me extending again with an L, but this time it's a really thin L. Ooh, not so thin up there. But I use the same technique. I break it down into two rectangles and that little square in the corner. And so, um, so a new blank, because I don't know what it is, but um, the area of this one is um, now, what is it? Well, it's now 13 times this blank. Okay, so I write in 13 times blank. And similarly, this one's 13 times blank. And the corner here, well, it's just blank times blank, same as last time. Okay, so I'm going to rewrite it over here, and so I get um, 2 times 13 times blank plus blank times blank. And this time I want it to equal about 12. So just to think things through, I'm going to put in 0 0.5, because remember what we're trying to do is break it down to decimals. And so there was the tens. Uh, the ones, and now I'm looking for the tenths. And so I'm going to say there's five tenths, or, and so, or a half. And so when I look at the calculations, it's easy. A half times two is one, and so this is already 13, which is too high. And so I'm, gonna, I'm feeling lucky, so I'm just going to put 0.4 in here. 0 0.4, 0 0.4, 0 0.4, and see what I get. So now, um, 13 times 0 0.4, well, because of my card play, I know that's 52. Or, or actually 5.2, 5.2 times 10, or 5.2 um, times 2 is 10.4, and then 4 times 4 is 16, so 0.4 times 0.4 is um, um, 
0.16. Okay, so in total I have 10.56. Okay, so I subtract this off. 56, have to add in a few decimals there. And so this becomes 441. So 1.44. And so already, if I put in um, the 0.4s here and here, I end up with 13.4. When I square it, I'm going to get very close to the 181. I'm going to be shy uh, one and a half. And so this is going to be uh, 79 and a half, essentially. But I can continue. So I can extend a little bit more. Now this is really small. But the same thing's going to happen. I can break it into two rectangles. And these rectangles are, well, here it's going to be 13.4. Well, actually, it's going to be blank times 13.4. So that's my new blank. Um, and then it's the other rectangle, which is another um, blank times 13.4. And then I've got the square in the corner, which is still going to be um, blank times blank. And so I'm going to put that. That's what I had last time. And so here, I'm going to rewrite it. And so this becomes 2 times 13.4 times blank plus blank times blank. But this time, I'm looking for something around um, um, 0.144. And so, once again, I'm going to estimate this time with uh, the next digit, which is 0 0.05. And so when I multiply it by 2, it's like 0.1. And so that becomes 1.34. Um, and so that looks pretty decent. So as a good approximation, oops, 0 0.05, 0 0.05, 0 0.05. Okay, and so one, I've done this calculation, so it's 1.34 plus, and now 5 times 5 is 25, which means I've got four decimal places, so it's 0 0.0025. And so in total, I have 1.3425. Okay, and, and I'm going to just have to maybe move this down. 1.44 subtracted 1.3425 and we see that I have um, 5 um, and here 7 um, and 9 0. So I am very close to my goal and so I get I'm uh, maybe 0 0.1 out. And so after all these calculations, you often wonder, am I actually hitting what I think? And so I'm going to go back and multiply this time. So then, what was my guess again? It was 0 0.05. And so this is 0 0.05. And so my, my answer is 13.45. But what I want to see is if I square this number, 13.45, I want to see if I get what I expect, which is very close to 181. And so 5 times 5, 25, 22, um, 17, um, 6. Okay, 4 times 5, 20, 4, three, 4 times 4, 18, 4 times 3, and finally that. Oh, now the 3, 3 times 4, um, okay, 12, 13, 9, 10, carry the 1, 4, and finally 1, 3, 4, 5. So when I add this up, I get 5, 2, 0, carry the 2, uh, 9, carry another, wait, wait uh, sorry, it's 1, 10, 8, 1. And so what did I end up with? I ended up with 180.9. Uh, so I'm just shy, but this is what I expected. And so there you have it, um, how to calculate the square root of uh, a number. And it's through taking a square uh, and just keep adding on layers of the square. So um, I hope you enjoyed that. And so this geometrical technique is, is uh, useful. Enjoy.